Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tea Tuesday. Let's get into it. So, this week we're going to talk about um, renting here in Korea, okay? I've talked in the past about Wolsey versus Junsei. I've talked about how the new Junsei laws are basically making it impossible to get Junsei, basically. Um, but this time I thought I would talk about your rights as a renter, whether it be Junsei or Wolsey renters, okay? Now, I rent Wolsey currently, okay? Um, and I've had some issues in the past and I've actually had a lot of friends who have also had issues in regards to their renting and their landlords. Okay. It's a very common thing to see. Um, my landlord says this, or my landlord did this. What are my rights? What are my rights? What are my rights? So I think this is very important to talk about. Um, so you guys can know a little bit about your rights, um, when you come here or when you're renting or if you're having some sort of an issue. Now, I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer, okay? I'm not a lawyer. So I'm not giving you legal advice or anything like that. And the other thing is these laws change all the time, okay? Especially with the current Moon administration. They are doing a lot of changes to laws regarding home ownership and renting, etc. Okay, so these laws could change next week, right? Um, like I said, the Moon administration is doing a lot in regards to renting. Okay, so let's get into your rights. First, your landlord cannot enter your apartment without you inviting them in, okay? They don't need your code to your door. They don't need your key. They don't need any of that, okay? They cannot enter unless you invite them. Now, if they are doing maintenance, okay, if they are coming to do maintenance on your house, they have to let you know in advance that they are coming to do maintenance, okay? And then they can come into your house, obviously. Um, but your landlord doesn't need your key code or your key, okay? They cannot legally come into your house, okay, at all, period, whatsoever. Cannot come into your house. You are the legal owner. Well, not owner, but you are the legal resident of that apartment and not them, even though they own it, okay? So that's the first thing. Second thing is... Uh, second, your landlord, and I see this happen a lot in regards to villas, okay, not so much like office tells um, or like apartment apartments, but your landlord can't keep coming to your house, okay? And what I mean by this is, for instance, my landlord likes to come and knock on my door when I first moved in. She came and knocked on my door constantly and would say things about my dog. Now, there's nothing in my lease about dog ownership. I'll get to that. And there's nothing, like, my dog is fine. She doesn't bark. There's no issues, right? But my landlord was coming, you know, 8, 9 a.m. or while I was teaching class or something like that, okay? Um... And so they can't do that. That's harassment, okay? If they keep coming to your house and keep bothering you with things that aren't necessarily illegal, right? Like, oh, your dog is blah, 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 blah. Well, you're not allowed to come to my house, right? You can text me about it and talk to me about it and set up a time, but don't just come to my house and knock on the door, right? Um, and this goes into a similar, like 2.1, okay? Um, noise complaints should not be dealt with in regards to 
um, knocking on somebody's door. Don't You don't do it and they don't do it, okay? Because it's technically illegal. Um, noise complaints should be dealt with through the authorities, right? You can call 112 um, and they will deal with noise complaints. There's also an application that you can use um, to report your noisy neighbors, etc. But do not go to their house and they are not allowed to come to your house. Again, this is harassment, guys, okay? Third right that you have is in regards to moving out, okay? There is a law, it's newer, um, that basically if neither one of you, you and your landlord, um, say anything about your contract at the end of your contract, okay? So you have a two-year contract. And if none of you say anything in regards to your contract, you are open to renew without anything changing, okay? So I believe it's, yeah, it's 90 days. If nobody says anything in 90 days before the contract ends, so three months, you get to stay in that apartment with no changes, no increases in rent, no changes in anything in regards to your current contract. It just kind of renews to the next two years or a year or whatever your original contract was for, okay? So that actually protects you as a renter um, from increases and all of that. So you, if your landlord doesn't say anything and you don't say anything about moving out, know that you, you're automatically renewed for another two years. So you also have to be aware that if you wanna move out, you have to give the 90 day notice to your landlord that you are planning on moving. Otherwise, um, your contract will renew and they have a legal right to say, hey, your contract renewed, okay? So 90 days, talk to your landlord or don't, depending on what you wanna do. Um, and then the fourth right that you have in regards to moving out, um, <laughs> if you have a contract, you don't have to move right? Um, unless it's a government mandated situation where the government is kicking you out, your landlord cannot kick you out of your apartment. Period. End sentence. Unless you're not paying rent. But even then, even then, it takes a legal battle, a lengthy legal battle to kick you out of the apartment. Okay? They cannot be like, I'm selling the apartment. I want you to move. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. No, you don't have to move. They cannot be like, I want to increase the rent midway through your contract. Mm -mm. You have a contract. It's legally binding. They can't do anything. Now, they can offer to pay for your moving expenses and realtor fee if you plan on moving. And that's the minimum. Like sometimes they can offer you cash if they really want you out. But know that you don't have to move because you have the legal contract, okay? So it, let's say your landlord comes to you and it's you're in your second year of your contract. So you've already done one year of your two-year contract for your apartment. And it's like month 13 of your contract, okay, out of 24. And your landlord says, I want to sell my apartment and I need you to move from your apartment. I'll pay your moving expenses. I'll pay the realtor fee. But you don't want to move. You don't have to. Period. Don't have to move. Okay? So know that obviously it would be easier if you did move right? I'm not saying don't move, don't move, be stubborn. Um, you can choose to do what you want. You have the legal right here. You can stay if you want to stay. It's her problem, not your problem or his problem, not your problem, depending on the gender of your landlord. So you don't have to move. Number five. Huh. Oh, so many things. Um, number five it has to deal with your rights 
um, in regards to uh, cleaning and all of that stuff about the apartment. Now, obviously you should clean, try to make it look presentable, but the landlord really can't come after you for wear and tear on the apartment, right? So I've currently been at my current place for two years. I'm staying for another couple months. Um, I extended my contract uh, just for a few months and the wallpaper and floors are not as nice as they were when I moved in. Obviously, wear and tear, natural wear and tear on an apartment, they can't come after and be like, you have to replace the flooring. Now, if you, for instance, break something or ruin something in the apartment, you will have to pay. But no, a lot of landlords will say, oh, we have to replace the wallpaper. Well, no, natural wear and tear is a thing and you don't have to come after me about that. That's your responsibility as the landlord. Okay. Um, now again, if you break something or like you get a huge hole in the linoleum, you caused the issue, then you obviously have to pay for it and fix it. But if it's just natural wear and tear, do not pay for it. Additionally, cleaning services do not pay for it. That's a common scam among landlords is to say that you have to replace the wallpaper and the flooring and you have to pay for a cleaning service. No, no, I don't. You do if you want it to be cleaned. Um, and I'm not saying leave your house a fucking mess. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. But you don't have to pay for a professional cleaning service. You can clean it yourself and leave it, etc. Okay. And speaking of this, always take photo evidence of your apartment before you move anything in. Okay. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you have video and or photographic proof of the apartment before you moved in. So your landlord cannot come in and say, oh, you had, you made a huge scratch in the floor. Okay. Take video at the beginning, take video at the end or photos beginning end. Okay. Super important, super important because you can say, Hey, no, that's not right. This is how I left the apartment. You deal with it. That's you. That's not me. Okay. So take photos, do your due diligence. Okay. Number six has to do with animals. You guys know that I have a dog and a cat, right? Now, a lot of landlords will say no pets, no pets, no pets, no pets, no pets. Some will put it in the lease. Some will not. That is your key here. Okay. If it is in your lease that you cannot have pets, sorry, you can't have pets right? But for instance, in my lease, there's no clause about having pets, none period whatsoever about having pets. So my landlord, while she was pissed that I had animals, had no legal repercussions against me or cannot kick me out because I have pets, right? There's nothing in my lease that says I cannot have them and there's nothing to prevent me from having them. Okay. So make sure that you understand your lease and you read your lease thoroughly. Um, because again, that is where a lot of things happen. Um, and people get confused. Okay. That's, I guess, a, uh, what is the word? A point or a tip I would suggest know what your lease says. Okay. And you can have animals. Okay. Don't lie. Okay, because you can get in some serious trouble if you don't tell a realtor about you having pets. Um, so like for me, I have always been super forward about the fact that I have animals and that I have pets. Um, I told the realtor that I had a dog and a cat. Um, and I told them about like specifics about the dog and the cat, etc. The realtor is the one who told, didn't tell the landlord that I had the pet. Okay. So that's not on me. That's on the realtor. Um, obviously you don't want to lie and then come into a situation where you're going to cause a lot of problems. 
right? Um, so just do your due diligence and make sure that you understand everything that is happening in regards to renting here. Um, so I forgot to add this to the video, but this is very, very important. Um, so number seven is that you cannot have an increase in rent. Say you're going to renew your contract and you've talked to your landlord about renewing. Your landlord cannot increase your rent more than 5% of what you are currently doing, okay? So if your landlord wants to increase your rent for the next year, they cannot increase it more than 5% of what you are currently renting at, okay? This is a new law and it's to prevent price gouging on apartments, okay? So just be aware, no more than 5%. And if they try, tell them that you know the law and that no more than 5% is allowed. Um, like I said before, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just advocating and I know a lot of rights in regards to um, being a renter because I have been renting for five years now, um, my own apartment. And I've dealt with a lot of different landlords. This is my fourth landlord. <laughs> and um, I know my legal rights and I want you guys to be aware of yours as well uh, because I've, I see so many people posting, my landlord's doing this, what can I do? Well, contact 112 because it's harassment <laughs> or look at your contract, right? Um, so that's the main points I guess for this is the takeaway for um, this video is know your rights and look at your contract and don't let people harass you. Okay. <laughs> um, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.